now back to that breaking news out of Camden, New Jersey. Two people dead after a fire swept through an apartment complex as people were sleeping. We know that a number of others have been rushed to the hospital. Our NBC 10's Randy Gyllenhaal just got there. She's live on the scene on Kramer Street. So, Randy, you just got there. What are officials there telling you? Well, they believe the fire started somewhere in this dense three-story apartment building that's behind me here in Camden. I'll get out of the way so you can see it. As they light up the scene, you can see some firefighters actually putting flashlights on some of these windows. You can see the fires out, but firefighters tell us they got here and saw people jumping from those windows amid heavy smoke and flames, trying to escape before this fire spread. Numerous departments responded to this. They were working to evacuate the building to get as many people out as possible. Firefighters do tell us, though, that two people are dead this morning, at least seven others injured, taken to nearby hospitals. And this apartment was filled with people. Some 20 or 30 are now displaced, standing outside without a home. Firefighters say they don't yet know what caused the blaze, but they had a really busy night and worked as hard as they could to get these neighbors to safety. And then they say people were jumping out of windows. They had several people jumping out of some of the upper floor windows on arrival when our guys got here. They had a considerable amount of fire. Unfortunately, at the same time, we had another fire at 3806 High Street that also went to an all-hands fire, too, and we had to use some of our mutual aid partners for that fire. Yeah, so firefighters working overtime tonight. It is also very cold out this morning. And all the people displaced right now have nowhere to go. However, the Red Cross is on scene. There is a warming bus here as well uh, as these people are working to find shelter. Meantime, I did just see the state fire marshal on scene. So the investigation into what sparked this is now getting started. For now, we're live in Camden. Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC 10 News.